Looming over Queen's Park stands the monolithic Whitney Block Tower. For over half a century, the tower has been void of activity. Whitney Block Tower is one of Ontario's oldest government offices, and it shows. The exterior is Gothic, Art Deco, and Neoclassical. It was built in 1926, and its facade is ornamented by repeated sequences of quatrefoils and figures designed by Charles Adamson, which depict ideals and professions. Upon its completion, it was one of the tallest buildings in Toronto. Air conditioning was not as sophisticated in the 20s due to trapped heat and sunlight. Early 20th century tall buildings would get unbearably hot in the summer. To resolve this, the Whitney Block Tower was crudely cooled by placing ice in an enormous wooden tub at the peak of the tower. The cool air would then be gravity-fed into the different floors. Knowing that 90% of its stories are now as abandoned as Chernobyl gives the place an ominous presence in the Toronto cityscape. The building was initially abandoned due to it not meeting fire code safety standards. It has only one set of stairs, a hand-cranked elevator, and there's only one way in and out. But some believe there are other explanations for the property's abandonment. Perhaps Whitney Block is haunted. It isn't clear by what, though. Some say the ghost of the building's architect, F.R. Heeks, who died before the tower's completion, still roams the halls and corridors of his tower. Others say the spirits of all the dead animals that passed away in the veterinary ward on the sixth floor now collectively claim the building. Maybe it's the apparitions of Toronto's long-dead police force that keep watch over the tower, drawn there from the Ontario Police Memorial Park that sits just outside. Perhaps there is a legion of phantom bowlers returning to the unusually situated bowling alley in the tower's basement for one last strike. Despite the alleged paranormal activity, the future of Whitney Block Tower seems bright. A restoration project is already underway, bringing the building up to 21st century specs. Ventilation, windows, exterior, and air conditioning are all the priority of the revival project. Hopefully, in due time, Torontonians will once again walk the halls of this beautiful and mysterious architectural relic.